Yeah, so Royal Wharf, it, was a, uh, it started as a 40 acre site uh, in the Royal Docks, kind of uh, sitting on the river between the river and North Woolwich Road. Uh, it's got great transport links to DLR stations either side, uh, Pontian Dock and Silvertown Keys. And uh, we saw it as a massive opportunity to, um, to well, create a new town effectively. So we've built new high streets, new schools, uh, shops, businesses, uh, all relocated to this place that only a few, a few years ago was completely barren wasteland and has now turned into home for 10,000 people. In about six years, you had 4,000 homes built together with community facilities and great public spaces. That all happened in the six years. What's remarkable about that is it enabled the community to take root and to grow and to become established very, very quickly. In this Royal Wharf development, the school is pretty central and surrounded by um, our families who are all living all around us. A very significant value that we have is that we want to involve our school in the community and the community in our school. There's definitely a very strong sense of community spirit at Royal Wharf and it's a very vibrant, positive place for families to live. So the community here is uh, really, really diverse in lots of different ways. So people from all ends of the spectrum of life can meet together and form friendships. And that I think is something really special. There's always something going on, always. And there's always opportunities to meet people and make really, really good friends. I feel like the area has a really great community spirit, um, especially now that a lot more shops and local um, businesses have opened up. Lots of young families or couples with dogs, and um, yeah, everyone's really friendly, we love it here. The community here in Royal Wharf is really friendly, um, so it's not like in other places where you don't really know your neighbours. We've got friends more than neighbours, so that's something really, really good. When I moved into the community, um, I was always passionate about football and coaching, so I decided to start a football club to bring the community together. So you've got a really mixed culture here, which is also great for us. You know, that's what London is great for, right? It's a mix of cultures. So, so for me, I feel like I get the best of both worlds living here. If we want the private sector to build more homes in London, we need to have an environment that encourages investment. For example, in Royal Wharf, we had a Singaporean partner in Oxley. They could have invested anywhere in the world. They decided they want to invest in London residential. And that was a positive thing for London. It was a positive thing for the 10,000 people who now call this their home. And I think um, we need to see that type of investment as a good thing for our city. So the other thing to take away from this place is that it could be a model for how the country starts to think about creating the number of homes in a very short period of time that we undeniably need. But not just homes on their own, it's not just homes, it's creating the infrastructure, the community, the facilities. And so what we're building are not housing estates, but proper places.